What's up, people? It's Cherise, and I'm still at the office at 9.16 Eastern Standard Time. For those of you in California that think it's really like 5 or 6 o'clock, but it's really 9 o'clock here at Titan Medical Center. Anyways, we're here having a grand old time. Right, John? Right, John? What up, guys? Arr, up in here. Hey, you know, what is it, 9 o'clock? 9.16 p.m. 9.16 Dude. Boo, why? Because Tina, you left me. That's why I'm still here. Because all you ladies left me all by myself to do all this work. No, I'm just playing. I don't care. Um, I actually had a lot of things to do. So I did get a lot of things accomplished. And it's just been a really long day to be told honest with you. But I did get a lot done. Even though I still have a ton of things that I've had done, I still feel like I have not made a dent in anything that I need to actually do. So this is what I usually do before I leave. So that way you guys can see. Cause I know it's like you guys, I'm like, oh, I work so much, da 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 da. And it's like, well, no you don't. And I'm like, yeah, actually I do, okay? Um, so I come over to Michelle's desk, cause this is her desk right here, see? And Michelle didn't plug in her iPad. So I'm gonna be a good old mama. And I'm going to plug in her iPad so that way she doesn't get in trouble tomorrow when she comes in. And she has to text patients, but her iPad is dead. Okay? So I'm going to do that. Megan was ever so kind enough to plug in hers. Emily was ever so kind enough to plug in hers. So that's always a good thing. What's up, Eric? What up, Matt? Look at all these people's on here. Tina, you didn't ask me to stay. I know I didn't ask you to stay. Why would I ask you to stay? You've stayed late like every single night. But anyways, no, we've actually had a really good night tonight. It's been very productive. Um, but we're still here. And I wasn't going to do my soapbox until I actually got home. So I could show you my new and improved closet that I spent eight hours creating with Peter on Saturday, which was ever so much fun. Um, but I'm not gonna do that because when I get home, see what happens is I'm gonna leave the office and in my car, I'm gonna turn up the sunroof and then I'm gonna blast the music. And I'm probably gonna play something that's totally off the wall. I don't know, maybe some rap music, maybe 80s, depends on my mood when I actually get in the car. And then I'm gonna jam out, get home, eat something, and then I'm going to bed. I'm not going to do a soapbox. I'm going to go to bed because I am exhausted. <laughs> so anyways, um, I do have a funny story to share with you while I'm here. Um, trying to multitask anyway with, you know, my charts and going through all this wonderful stuff. And, you know, it's not like I have anything to do or all that. Like, you know, just piles of things to do, like on my chair and on my couch and on my desk and whatever. I'll get to it. You know, I'm, it's not like it's a typical Monday, even though I tell all of you not to write me any text messages on Monday because I'm not going to respond to you. Okay. So anyways, um, on Saturday we decided to do my closet and you know, I, I'm all about like training Peter to be so, you know, responsible and make your own money, yada, yada, yada. And of course, he's on his little game. I don't know whatever the hell it's called, Fortnite and all these other little building games where they call each other names on a headset, whatever. So anyways, he, I told him, I said, hey, listen, I could really use some help considering that I had like 500 pieces of clothes to get rid of. And so I asked him if I could get his help. And he's like, well, are you going to pay me? I'm like, I don't know. Are you going to work? So I decided, you know what? I will pay you. You know, if you're going to if you're going to work for mom and you're really going to like have to do like labor, <laughs> then yeah, I will pay you. And then you can go and spend your money on whatever you want cuz that's how you do it. Remember I told you in my last soapbox like children should like know the value of a dollar and that's what I'm doing to Peter is making sure that he understands the value of a dollar and know what it's like to work for things, okay? It was good to see you too today, Mr. Davis. Even though it was only for like three seconds. What's up, Jason? So anyways, I decided that I wasn't going to go to Target because of the simple fact that I am absolutely petrified to go to Target by myself, even with my concealed. Because, you know, I hear all these crazy stories about all these things happening in the Target and Walmart parking lots in Pasco. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go to Target. I'm totally ordering everything on shipped and they can just write me what any issues are. So she actually found everything I needed 
and there was a shoe rack that needed to be built. Now, obviously, you have a shoe rack that's coming from Target. It's not that complicated to put together, guys. But this was the first time that Peter had to put something together. So it was actually really cool. So I, I pull out all the stuff and I pull out all the directions, all the little nuts and bolts. There's tons of little tiny pieces everywhere. And he goes, you know, mom, this looks really hard. I'm like, well, it's harder than what it really is. I'm like, listen, we can totally do this together. I'm like, go get a screwdriver. I'm like, let's put it together. It'll be totally fine. So we start putting it together. I explained to him at that time. I'm like, listen, you got to go step by step instructions. I'm like, you miss one step. And what's going to happen is you're going to screw it up. And then you have to go all the way back and undo everything and redo everything. Now a job that only should have taken you 35 or 40 minutes really is going to take you two hours not really what you want to do so this is where I showed him you know this is what you have to do anyways he made a smart ass remark where he's like you know I'm never gonna have to do this I don't need a shoe rack I'm like well you know what your wife might want a shoe rack one day and your wife may not be as self-sufficient as your mother and is going to ask you to put together that damn shoe rack. So you're going to learn to put together the shoe rack right now with the screwdriver and all these nuts and bolts Anyways, honestly, it was a great bonding experience for me and Peter, and it was a lot of fun. So I actually spent my weekend for the first time ever, like, actually relaxing and spending time with Peter and having a, like, moment to just chill, which was great. It was so amazing. That's why I can stay here till 930 at night and still have this much energy. Don't ask me how I do it. I just do. And remember, I still have a 35 or 40 minute drive home, but I enjoy driving. So I'm okay with that. So anyways, today's been a long day, but it's been a good day. It's been a really good day. And you know, I want to say one thing. I am like super, super, super proud. And I am going to tag all my girls in this video just so they can, you know, they can see that I'm super, super proud. And by the way, let me just make sure that we give some props back here. You know, it was all a dream. Thank you, Mr. Skeldon. Um, so anyways, I am super proud of my girls and very, very happy that we have the team that we do because it's been really hard to find good girls. I mean, it's super complicated. And the reason I t always tell you guys this, that it's so freaking complicated is because of the simple fact that, you know, not everybody has beauty, brains, and the best one of it all, common sense. You cannot teach someone to have common sense. They either have common sense or they don't have common sense. You cannot train someone to have common sense. Now, can you train somebody on how to take a refill? Yeah. Can you train somebody on how to mm, answer a phone? Totally. Can you train somebody to have common sense? No, you cannot train somebody to have common sense. So, it's either you have common sense or you don't. And if you don't have common sense, you will not survive a tight medical center. Not at all. So, anyways, I want to give big ups to my girls. <laughs> Unless you're Tina. Tina, you're lucky you're pretty. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I do love you, Tina. And I accept you for who you are. But anyways, if you don't have common sense, you're not going to make it here at Titan Medical Center because I have zero patience for people that have zero common sense. Can I teach you? Will I have patience for people that I can teach? Yeah, absolutely. So anyways, I do have one funny story to tell you guys, and I'll share it with the world. <sighs> it's not necessarily something that I would love to share with the world because it was super, super messed up story. But I am going to share it with you guys because that's what I do. I share with, you know, the super, super jacked up things that happened to me. I share it with you guys. So, because <laughs> I just told Peter this story the other night. Okay. So we live by like water, right? And whenever it rains or it's muggy or whatever, there's always like these big ass water bugs. Okay, like big ass water bugs. I call them cockroaches. John's dad calls them water bugs. They look like cockroaches. They're cockroaches. They're not water bugs. A bug is a bug, okay? I am not a bug girl. If there's a bug, I am probably gonna jump up on a table and scream for John until he comes and kills the bug, right? That's me. Even though I would like literally beat the hell out of somebody down the street. When it comes to a bug, that's it. You've got me there. You got me with the bug. 
So anyways, um, the other night I got home and I was like, oh, let me grab some waters out of the, you know, garage, whatever. Long story short, <laughs> I go downstairs, I grab a water and there's like all these water bugs underneath the water cases. And it totally tripped me out. So like, I'm like, I, I try to grab the waters real quick. Now, granted, I'm just going to put this out there. I was wearing a pair of shorts and sneakers or sandals, whatever, and a tank top. So, I mean, like, if a bug was to crawl up my leg or, like, crawl on me, I would obviously feel the bug, right? So, I grab my waters. I run real fast because I don't want any bugs touching me because I will get totally skeezed out. And I run upstairs, right? So, I got two bottles of Avion just in case I get thirsty so I don't have to go back down to the bugs because I am petrified of bugs. So... I go upstairs, I tell John, I go, hey, listen, babe, I said, there's all these bugs downstairs. I'm like, you need to tell your dad to call the bug guy, tell him to come in here and kill all these bugs because I'm not having this shit. I'm like, I need to, I need my water. I'm not going to jump over cockroaches to get it. Water bugs, but cockroaches, whatever, same shit. So I put my water down, yada, 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 long story short, getting to the point. So I go to sleep. It's like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I go to sleep and I'm going to tell you, I have very, very cat-like reflexes. Like I'm very quick to, I mean, I will act on like on a second. So <laughs> I'm sleeping, right? And I've never had this happen to me ever in my life. Okay. This is horrible. The worst story ever. This is worse than any scary movie. So I'm sleeping in like a dead sleep. And all of a sudden, I literally feel something crawling down my arm. And of course, my instant reaction is to like flick it off, right? So I, the TV's off. I can hear everything. So I hear something thumping against the wall. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I know there is not a bug up in my room, on my arm, in my bed. Because this is going to be the worst thing ever. <laughs> it was horrible. This is like a horror story. I was, this is like, you know, this is just, just a bad story. So anyways, it's like, it's like three o'clock in the morning. John is dead asleep next to me. And of course, I don't want to wake him up and scream in his ear like, there's a bug. Because then he would probably be super pissed off at me. And then he wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. And then I would have to deal with him being mean the next day. Not really something I want to do. So anyways... I put, put open my phone. I look at the flashlight. I'm like, I know I'm not tripping. I know there was something on my arm. I am not tripping. I'm not dreaming. There's something on my arm. So I start looking and this thing is in my freaking Nike shoe. And I'm like, oh my God, this is horrible. Not only am I totally skis out because there's a water bug that was just crawling on me in the middle of the night. After me telling John that I was petrified of water bugs, now it's in my Nike shoe, and I don't want to kill it because it's going to mess up my shoe. What do I do? What would you do? Would you kill it? Would you mess up your Nike shoe? What are you going to do? So anyways, of course, I throw something at it, knowing it's going to run off for its, you know, for dear life. And of course, it runs, and it runs off into some bean bag, you know, underneath the bean bag, and it's great. Because the rest of the night, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> because I thought that this bug was going to come for me. So, yeah, that was great. Got no sleep that night. It was so much fun. And I, you know, I definitely bitched John the next day. Like, this is amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, listen, if I grab a shoe, listen, the thing was in my shoe. And it was one of those things where you had to, like, Eric, you had to, like, stare at it, Right? Because you thought you were going to kill it when really you weren't going to kill it. And it's like, what am I going to do? I should have just woke up John's ass. Like, go get that damn bug. This is where the testosterone comes into play. Lots of testosterone. Testosterone kills bugs. <laughs> so anyways, it has been quite an eventful weekend. But it has been a good weekend. Minus the water bugs. We won't talk about that. Okay. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. Don't play with me, Eric. It's not even funny. So anyways, I am going to let John say bye. Since he just walked in with his glow-in-the-dark sneakers. Bye, guys. Check this out. New Yeezys. These things actually glow-in-the-dark. Like, 
full out glow. They're glowing in the dark, and it's not even the dark. I wouldn't wear these, man. Usually, if you wouldn't pay me, these are the brightest things I've ever like owned in my whole life. Usually, I'm, you know, I'm definitely under these bright colors, but it's very cool. Very, very cool. I would never wear glow in the dark sneakers. Look, check it out. Come on, read over here. You guys want to see his glow in the dark sneakers? He is like super excited about these sneakers. Let's see if you guys can actually see it in the dark. Ooh, what do John and Sharice do in their 4,000 square foot office in the middle of the night? They look at glow in the dark sneakers. Come on, you know you want some. I can't see it. Oh. OMG. You see him, right? Awesome. <laughs> He's going to do a disco dance. Boop, boop. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, All right, this kids. is where you guys know we're like totally losing our shit. All right, anyways, I'm gonna go drive home and I'm gonna listen to some music and nobody's gonna bother me. And if you happen to text me, I'm not gonna text you back. Okay. I'm gonna take a nap, aka go to sleep. Might have a little nightcap and talk to you tomorrow. You know, like a whole new day. By the way, guys, just so you know, in case you're wondering, like, what is this woman's problem? They turn the AC off at 6 o'clock. It is 930. We've been here with no AC for three and a half hours. No fan, no Dyson, no nothing. <laughs> we have a freezer and a refrigerator, but it's hot. Oh, yeah. Super hot. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Signing off. Talk to you later in the week. Hope everyone has a wonderful week. Sending lots of my love. Make sure you guys are motivated and get shit done this week. Okay? See you.